Yeah, welcome back, travelers. Your friend Tea Leaf here. Today we're gonna do something special. I want to issue a spoiler alert for this video. Uh, I tend to consider a lot of things spoilers when it comes to Book of Travels, but this one's gonna be pretty heavy. We're going to the city of Casa. So the city is available uh, for us to kind of sneak into. It's still blocked off by the officials. There's still the investigation going on with the main quest revolving around the Casa incident as to why the city is closed off. But there is a way to sneak into the city. And we're going to do that today. There's a couple of ways, and I'll show you both. That being said, if you want to keep Casa as a mystery for your journey, uh, now is the time to stop watching the video. I won't be offended, and we'll catch you for the next one. Uh, and for those that want to check out Casa or find out how to get in there, or just want to come along for this journey, uh, let's, let's get to it. <laughs> so as I've said, we're in Batsaha, and we're not very close to where we need to go, but that's okay. Because we're just going to go for a little walk here. And again, I won't get into the, the quest or anything revolving around Casa. I'll leave that for you to either explore on your own or to look up a guide. I, I'll be honest, I had to look up a guide on that quest. It was pretty difficult, I found, to, uh, to sort out just on my own. But there's a lot of people out there that are way better at it than me. And there's no shame in getting help with stuff like that. I think, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of things that we'll need assistance for in a game like this. Now, I'm just trying to figure out which way I want to go. Hmm. I think we'll take the boat here. We're going to Charwood Forest. Now there's a knot that you can use that can get you into Casa as well. This one. It's called the Veiled Gate. I can make a video on where I got this. I'm not going to do that today, but there's uh, a merchant that appears underneath a tree that can sell you this. And all it does is it makes a gate kind of similar to the Kaleem's Gate. But it takes you to a random place. You know how Kaleem's Gate will, will take you back here to Bat Saha, To the Dandelion Temple, to be exact. Uh, Veiled Gate is just random. It'll take you to random places. So you might end up in the Pavilion. The Jader and Pavilion. You might end up uh, in Crossings. It's kind of just a fun way to explore the map. And end up in random areas. And what players had discovered was that one of the random areas that it took you to was inside the city of Casa. So, of course, once players started discovering that, uh, you know, we went to town, myself included, I was using that gate. It took me probably over, I I'm not kidding, a dozen tries, maybe close to 20 tries before I got into Casa. And then I realized... There's an easier way. And we'll show that. Ah, here comes that boat.
board. Here we go. And we're off. All right, my friends, come along. Let's go to Casa. I've got a lot of fish in my inventory. As you can tell, I've been doing a lot of fishing with the new fishing mechanic that they've implemented a few patches ago, a couple updates ago. I did make a video on that as well, if you want to check that out. Um, I'm really enjoying the fishing a lot lately. I've just been going to random places and seeing if there's like different fish that spawn in different areas. I found a few uh, unique ones. I don't actually have them on me anymore. But uh, I have found some really cool stuff. And a lot of it's bait too, actually. I keep my bait down at the bottom here so I can keep it separate from the other fish. But yeah, some bait fish. And I, d I don't know if this actually increases your chance to catch an even more rare fish, maybe it does. I, I'll have to check the patch notes, that's my fault. I, it's probably in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just enjoy, even if they don't, I enjoy catching the different different types of bait, not having to use my worms all the time. Anyways, to the south we go, my friends. We're just gonna pass through this area here somewhat quickly. my favorite things to do here is just to teleport myself across the, the water. I love doing that. Fold is, is still my favorite knot, my favorite spell. Also, shout out to you guys. Uh, I can't remember who it was exactly, but someone in the comments mentioned what I can add to the Sephra shrines. They said just to put in a, an item of food. So that's what I use most of my fish for as well. Ones that don't, ones that aren't too costly. And then I get a nice little buff from the Blessing. I believe that one gave me more force. Just in case we run into any trouble, which I haven't been doing well with lately. I think if I want to, uh, 
get into into the into trouble, I need to start working on my my ward and my force abilities a little more. Good day. But I'm having too much fun just being a traveling fisherman right now. So we'll continue along through Kiro Orchard, uh, just continue heading south from here. This is a nice little area tucked away that I often forget about, but I love coming here when I, when I do remember the things that I like to do here, collecting the willow nuts. Uh, the fishing is great. And you can collect fall gems too. Amongst other things. It's kind of like my little... One of my zen areas. now at the western harvest route and I've just realized I've definitely taken the longer path but I don't mind if you don't mind
This spot here is always going to remind me of the, the very first time I saw Book of Travels, and I mentioned this before in another video, but I'm going to say it again. Just going by this part of the river, I remember an early development video, one of the developers playing the game, and I, I believe it was the first gameplay video we saw. At least it was the first one that I witnessed. And they were around this area here, and I believe they used fold to cross the river. And then they started fishing here as well. Um, and I, I just really fell in love with the, the look of the game when I saw that video. That did it for me. I saw the trailer first, and the trailer was really hitting all the buttons for me. Uh, but when I saw the gameplay, that gameplay video uh, of this area here, I really fell in love with it right then, right then and there. So every time I walk through this area, that's kind of what I what I think of. It just pops into my memory. And the Western Harvester is a, actually a really underrated place to travel, especially at nighttime. There can be a lot of different things going on down here. I'm actually kind of glad I went this way as well because I, like I said, I like walking through this area. And the next area that we're coming up to, the Mistkeeper's Toe, is a really nice area to explore as well. It's a crossroads of sorts, just kind of like uh, it branches out to different areas, but it's a cool place to hang out. And There's a good fishing spot here as well. We won't get into that just yet, but go down to the south right here, this area. But we're not going that way today, my friends. I've got my umbrella out because it started raining on us. And I do like the sound of the water when it hits the umbrella as well. this. Is this who I think it is? I don't have any treats for you, but I got some scratches. It is Flick. I thought so. <laughs> Flick likes to hang out at the Miss Keeper's toe as well. They know a good spot when they see one. If anyone doesn't know, Flick is the resident cat at Might and Delight. I, I believe it was a homeless cat. I think it was a, a cat they brought in off the, off the streets. And they just keep it at the studio, which I think is amazing. I'm a cat guy. I'm a dog guy, a cat guy, every animal type of guy, just like animals, period. Uh, I think that's great. So it's fun to run into him in the game. Or her. I'm not sure if it's a he or her, to be honest. They're a cute little kitty. Uh, if you follow Might and Delight on Twitter, you'll see pictures of them all the time. Here we are, my friends. This is where we want to be. This is an interesting place, probably the most interesting place for me to come and explore. So many things happening here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head all the way down to the south here. Kind of where Resna Rose Spring is, but we're gonna go west of that to this area here.
believe I'll have to cross a river. It should be coming up. And I'll know I'm heading in the in the right direction. No, I apologize. There's no river. I was thinking of a different spot. I think I was thinking of the Jade Urn that has the rivers, but we're nearing the the area that I want to take you to here. Okay, my friends, here we are. Now you'll see, let's show you this, this part of the map right here on the edge. Right, the Jadern Depths in Sharwood Forest, so southwestern corner. And you'll notice there's a, a bandit up here. I believe he's sleeping. You don't have to talk to them, especially if you're nervous. The smuggler is sleeping, yeah, so we're good. Now there's a gate here. I don't know how long this gate has been here for, but it seems to be here every time I come here now. And this, my friends, is what is going to take us to Casa. So go ahead while this smuggler is sleeping, activate the gate, and hold on to your butts. There we are. Now you'll see that this gate is hidden behind this area. Once I walk out to the left here to this road, you'll see it kind of uh, disappear out of sight behind this building. So that gate has always been there in this city. So remember that to get out of here as well. You'll need to know where that is to leave. Well, my friends, we are in Casa. Let's go for a walk. Now if you go up this way, there are some merchants uh, that you can talk to and trade with. I'm not really going to show them too much. Uh, I think, you know, once you get here, I'll let you explore on your own and find where everybody is. But uh, we'll just give you a quick little tour of the city. It is quite big, and there are some areas that are still blocked off due to the Casa incident. So you can't leave through the main gate. You can't access the residential side of the map, which is over here. There's a guard here that blocks this, but feel free to walk around and explore. I mean, I haven't discovered everything here. I'm sure there's a lot going down. Uh, you know, the difference between day and night as well. There's a, I believe there's a merchant who only appears at night. I can't remember what he's called, the shady merchant or something like that. The alleyway merchant, something like that. Um, and there's just some really cool things that you can get here that obviously you can't get anywhere else. And I love the old like, stonework, the way everything looks here. really has me excited for more for more of casa for more of the map to expand things like that obviously i want the stability of the game the mechanics and everything to be 
smooth and, and run perfect before we get too far ahead of ourselves. But at the same time, I'm excited for that new content. <laughs> so This is a really cool area to hang out here. There's a dock over here that you can fish off of. Uh, there's a bunch of kids running around here. Uh, and this is a good fishing spot here, I find. That I like to uh, to hang out at. But yeah, my friends, that is it. That is how you get to Casa. So, I'm going to uh, put up a little shelter here at my favorite fishing spot, or one of my favorite fishing spots. See if we can spark a fire in this weather. Usually you can if you put up a shelter. Perfect. We'll have some tea. And shelter ourselves from the rain. There we go. Let's just enjoy a nice hot tea out of this cold rain. And enjoy casting, my friends. Thanks for coming along with me, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. So until then, take care.